Let's divide 2 by 3. The first thing we can do is let's think of it as a fraction. So we could say we have 2 over 3, 2 thirds. So 2 thirds, that's 2 divided by 3. You could also take your calculator out and divide 2 by 3 on a calculator. You end up with 0 0.6666 the 6 keeps going. Sometimes you'll see this rounded to 0 0.67, and that's okay. It is a rounded answer. You could also just get rid of these here and then put a bar over the 6 to show it keeps repeating, and that's a little bit more accurate. Depends on what your teacher wants you to do. The other way we could do this, we could take 2 and see how many times 3 goes into 2. 3 doesn't go into 2. Let's call this 20, and then we can put a 0 with a point up here. So 6 times 3 is 18, and when you subtract, you're left with 2. So we'll call this 20 and move over 1, and 6 times 3 is 18, and you're left with 2. We could call it 20, and so on. So we just keep getting 0 0.6666666, the 6s, they repeat. And that's why we wrote 0 0.6 with the bar to show they're repeating, although sometimes it's rounded. This is Dr. B, dividing 2 by 3. The answer as a fraction is 2 thirds or as a decimal 0 0.6 with a bar to show it's repeating. Some people do round this though to 0 0.67. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.